Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> Stacy's now at five weeks. And I've made it, is it eight or is it nine? Can't you remember. just said it was eight. I was pretty sure it was In eight. a previous take. Yeah. Yeah, I was pretty sure it was eight, but then I started thinking about like, but it makes sense, it'll be eight. Definitely eight weeks. And we got some stuff to cover. So, most part, still feeling great. We've introduced some intermittent fasting. We are cutting our feeding windows down. Down, 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 down. I know, feeding window feels like we're some sort of barnyard animal. Like only the cows can eat at noon. Um, I started a little bit before she did. Um, but generally speaking, we've moved from a, from a three meals per day down to a two meals per day. Um, so intermittent fasting has several key benefits. Uh, the biggest one, which Stacy just found out about, is remember how to say it? Tofi something. Autophagy. So what is autophagy? So autophagy is basically the recycling of your cells in a, in a basic form. So old dead cells um, are basically consumed by your living good cells. It's all internalized. It's great, and it's supposed to also provide you with some very key. Um, enlightened benefits supposed to help with um, a lot of brain function all kinds of stuff there's a list of benefits that can kind of goes on and now I'll get into that in a future video because I'm not really there yet so more stuff coming but I'm basically doing we're basically doing a 16 hour fasting window that basically starts the moment we go to like we finish the for our last meal of the day right and then it doesn't and, and then it continues until we, the next day, we go to bed, we wake up, and then we continue it while we're at work until the next allotted uh, time, which mine is noon. So I have an eight hour window where I can eat. Stacy is, I think, 1.30. Is that what you're shooting at? Um, I'm trying to, but... So you can move the window around a little bit day from day, but what's important is, is that is your goal here is to continue to close that window down um, until the point where you maybe you're eating two smaller meals, you know, closer to one another, or maybe you're even going down to one meal, depending on what your weight loss regime is kind of develops into. So the benefits from that are the, not only do you eat less food, but you might just eat one really big meal in a day and then kind of be done, right? Um, and a lot of that is because it's going to really springboard your weight loss. Um, so something that you don't want to do right off the bat, something that you want to get fat adapted first and then move into that. So that's, that's what we're, we're doing, uh, this week and this review uh, or this update. Um, I have finally hit the down 40 mark as of Sunday. So I am officially at greater than 40 pounds lost, which I'm feeling pretty good about. Um, I don't have, like a lot of people have goal pants. I don't really have goal pants. <laughs> I have goal shorts, right? So I don't have, do you have any goal pants? I have a lot of jeans from when I was skinnier. Stacy has a lot of goal pants. <laughs> So she had a goal, you had a shirt or something you wore recently that you I did, wore, yeah. yeah. I wore a shirt. There was a shirt that you wore that, that you weren't able to wear. And in a really long time. Yeah, because it was a little too. Yeah, it looked like a sausage. I had sausage arms. Oh, sausage the so belly. it was the arms, I see. Sausage, it was all just. It was all. <laughs> <laughs> is that the scientific term? It oh. is. Was there like, is there issues of like restrictions below too, or like, did it make a muffin cloud <laughs> as opposed no, to a muffin it's top? Just constantly a muffin top. Oh, okay. Wow. Thanks to the wonders of childbirth. Yeah. Well, autophagy yeah. is supposed to help with that too. Childbirth and uh, what was how C-section? That's what I'm looking C -section, for. C-section. Yeah. C. -section. It's always a muffin top from the C-section. Anyway. Anyway. So yeah. So that's what we've been working on. But there's been some issues with that. Um, so Stacy and I both suffer from acid reflux, GERD, whatever you want to call it. We take medication for it. And one of the things with keto is that's supposed to greatly improve that because a lot of that whole process that's involved um, with 
acid reflux and GERD and all that other stuff. Um, it's supposed to be greatly improved when on a ketogenic diet, which I have found in a decent amount of success with. Like I stopped taking my medication for GERD every day. Mm -hmm. um, I started doing it like every other day and I got to like every three days. Um, and that was working really well for me. I didn't really have any issues. If I did have a major issue, I would take like a Zantac or something like that. And that's worked out fairly well. Um, but starting the intermittent fasting, um, ironically, Stacy and I both found out today that we were having a similar issue that uh, coming in the afternoon, we started getting acid reflux. We started having heartburn pretty bad. Um, and it, it was almost disabling in some cases. For me, I mean, I, I was like, oh man, I should be feeling great. Like keto, like everything up to this point, I've been feeling great and I feel great. And then I get this heartburn and I'm like, oh, man, this sucks. Am I doing something wrong? Is it... So I dug in and did a little bit more research and we have some ideas that we're gonna try. Um, and I won't share what those are yet because I don't wanna look like an idiot if they're wrong, right? So we won't do that, but we do it so check out the update next week because we'll know right we'll know if those things improve and have it helped us um you know apple cider vinegar is supposed to help with that um there's a tablet form of that stacy can't take the, the thing the but, liquid form no. yeah the liquid form she can't take i can do it it's nasty. but it's bad for your teeth so if there's an alternative to doing it i'd much rather do it so that's where that's where we're at right now um Recipe wise, we tried Kung Pao chicken from mm -hmm. Keto Connect. We weren't the biggest fan of that. Stacy even accused me of using dark meat chicken. Accused me of using dark meat chicken. It she was does, purple. She does not chicken like. Not supposed to she be does purple. not like chicken thighs or chicken legs because they are gross. So she they accused taste me. Taste different and they are texturally different. Yeah, she accused me of putting dark meat in her. Nate thought you used white. it too. Nate was curious. But he didn't complain, unlike somebody. Nate doesn't have to eat your cooking every day. I bet Nate wishes he could. That's right, Nate. Let us know. Nate's not watching these videos. He should be watching these videos, Nate. Don't be a hater. <laughs> so, that's our challenges for this week. Stacy's working on uh, some baking stuff. We got a couple more uh, recipes coming out. We got some Valentine's special recipes coming soon. What else we got? Anything else? No, this it's week? been pretty uneventful this week. Yeah, it's been. Other I mean, than the intermittent fasting and the What about water. our ketone levels? Did we check that last weekend? Yes, my those? fasting ketone level was 2.5 on Sunday. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Oh my God. It's like, there's so many ketones. Like her whole body is an absolute open rebellion. Like <laughs> I knew that Stacy was the emperor from Star Wars long ago, but what? there's a seriously a rebel alliance in her body right now, eating all the food, <laughs> like doing something. I don't know what's is that, going on. Are you trying to say that my, I'm all wrinkly and shit? No. Because the emperor is pretty nasty, ugly, and wrinkly. Wrinkly. Don't think that's where I was going with that. Okay. I was going with the evil overlord. I'll take it. So anyway, that's kind of where we are this week. Um, she said we haven't really made a lot of new recipes other than that to Kung Pao chicken. I don't think we've done anything yeah, new other week. than that. What did we make last week? Oh, Super Bowl party. We had a Super Bowl video. We had a bunch of videos on that, so I'll link that here. You should check that out. Um, that's it, right? It's been pretty, we've been pretty busy, so. Um, as you've seen, some of the videos kind of tapered off a bit, but uh, we got we got more stuff. We got a lot of new ideas coming out, and we got a lot of good stuff coming. And be sure to keep it focused. Be sure to like, subscribe, and as always, stay keto. Bye, guys. Whoa, you got a big old Woody there too. Apothecy. What? I can't even make Apothecy. sense of it. What is that? I feel like a news correspondent. This just in, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so who thinks Stacy should not have an iPad in front of her at all times? We voted. You have been kicked off the island.
no iPad for you. That's creepy. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, did I, did I get stuff on you? Sorry. No, I'm, the dog is. Oh. Please pause for dog licking out of the toilet. Greg and Stacy here.